what has changed in cinema so far? That's such an enormous question. I'm not sure how I could begin to answer it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so many different things have changed. Uh, if anything, probably the single biggest change in cinema is that uh, for many years, I think the technology of cinema made it quite a restricted art. It was very difficult to make films. Nowadays, I think almost any adults could make a feature film simply because the technology has become very accessible to people and actually quite cheap. What principle do you take into account while trying to say if the film is good or bad? I think it's always really difficult to sort of explain one's criteria. I mean, I think all of us begin watching films and we the first thing we say is whether we like a film or not, just our native reaction to it. Then we try and explain to ourselves based on our feelings of, you know, our knowledge of film history, our knowledge of different issues that it sort of uh, addresses, and then we kind of create an argument why we like a film or why we don't like a film, and all of us have our own criteria. I myself am never really that interested in trying to convince people why a film is good or bad, but I might want to convince people about why they should see a film or whatever. Yeah, that seems more interesting. What do film festivals bring to people, to the world, mm -hmm. and to the film productions? Well, festival, if I can use the example of Golden Apricot, for example, I think Golden Apricot has at least a couple of functions for people like me who come from outside. It's a wonderful opportunity to see films from this region. Uh, the Caucasus, uh, obviously Armenian films, but also films from the region. And for people from this region, it's a wonderful opportunity to see films from filmmakers such as Amos Gitai from Israel, or Kim ki Duk from South Korea, or Jia Zhangka from China. So you could say this is a place where the world meets the Caucasus, and the Caucasus meets the world. Thank you very much. My pleasure.